going out. You feel that? Thoroughly. Thoroughly. Hey guys, it's Crystal, and I wasn't even gonna bother getting one of these because I know how hard they are to get. But I was at Walmart last night just picking up some Sour Patch Kids and Skittles when I saw a line forming in the back of the store, and I was like, what's all the hubba hubba about? And indeed it was a line for the Nintendo Switch. So I said, you know what? I'll wait it out, I'll stick it out. And I did, and I got it. So let's open it up. Wow, yes, baby. Here is the Switch himself, the heart and the soul of the Nintendo Switch. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm so excited to take this everywhere with me. Here we got the Joy-Cons. I wanted the neon, but they didn't have that. Ooh, they feel good. Oh man, we're gonna like this. Perfect for my hands. You know, when I was little playing on my Xbox, I had such tiny little hands playing with those big controllers. This is good. Uh, I guess I'll go through the rest of the box before I start switch, switch, switching it up. I believe this is the dock. You're gonna put your switch in there and you can put on your TV. This is the little switch, uh, what is this? A strap. <laughs> the switch, no. <laughs> this is a Joy-Con strap, so you can strap it on. And here is the grip for it. Let's try putting it on the Switch itself. Nice little Joy-Cons. That's so nice, man. I could do that all day. I'm gonna take this everywhere with me. This is so cool. Let's get this box out of the way and show you the games that I got for it. I got Zelda and 1-2 Switch. Plastic. Wow, it's a little baby. A little SD card. So cute. <laughs> Holy crap! You wanna try it? Mm. Oh, Nintendo put this like weird coating stuff so that kids don't eat these things because it's nice and tiny and they just they probably think it's like a little chocolate chip and just pop in your mouth. Don't do that, kids. <laughs> don't do that. I'm gonna have some Skittles. <laughs> So anyway, the reason why people are so hyped up about the Nintendo Switch, including me, is because this is kind of like two gaming systems in one, and you can play in so many different ways. First, you can play it just like you would a Nintendo DS. You just snap both Joy-Cons onto the display, and you get a really satisfying click. And actually, all the sounds the Switch makes when navigating around menus, Mm, they're so nice. The next way you can play is without having the Joy-Cons attached. You just hold them in your hands, and the Switch has a little kickstand in the back that doesn't feel like it's gonna work very well, but it actually works pretty great, as long as it's on a table and not a couch or something. It's cool that you can do this, but I don't know how often I'd actually use it this way, but it's really helpful when your friends wanna sit beside you and watch you play without annoyingly peeking over your shoulder. You even get a little controller skeleton thingy that's actually called the grip, where you can slide on those Joy-Cons to kind of have your own mini controller. It's definitely mini though. And some people don't really like the size of this. Your hands are a little more closer together than they'd be on an Xbox controller. But I actually think this feels so comfortable. And probably because I have pretty tiny hands. But my favorite thing about the Nintendo Switch all comes down to this guy right here. It's a little docking station that hooks up to your TV via HDMI. And now you can easily slide your Nintendo Switch into the dock and immediately you can start playing right on your television. It even boosts the graphics a bit when you do this, making that 720p resolution go all the way up to 1080p. There's really not that many games out right now. Um, definitely a new Mario Kart coming out at the end of April. Uh, maybe Super Smash Brothers one day. But I really, really want some type of new Animal Crossing game. Please, Nintendo. Please. For now, I got the new Zelda game, Breath of the Wild, which I've only played for a little bit, but it looks so good. I, mean, I love how alive the world feels with the trees and the grass blowing and the wildlife running around. And then there's one, two, switch, which most of the time requires you to play with somebody else, like my sister here. And this is probably one of the weirdest games I've played. There's things like cow milking mini games, even sandwich eating contests. Better be vegan baloney. These are pretty much just silly mini games that are probably good for breaking the ice with people, but I feel like this game mostly exists to showcase how amazing the technology is inside that Joy-Con controller. Some are actually pretty fun though, like the game where you have to copy your opponent's move and somehow your Joy-Con controller can calculate how close you were based off its motion IR sensor. It can even tell how far objects are away from the remote and also the shapes of things, which is 
pretty crazy. The Joy-Cons also have some really advanced haptic feedback inside, which is so precise that there's even games here that make it feel like there's tiny balls inside your controller that slide around. Is it fun? Not really. But is it interesting? Oh, you best believe. Really, the main thing that's awesome about this is having a really powerful mobile gaming device with a beautiful screen one moment, and then being able to bring all your progress over to the big screen by just popping it into a dock. Back in the day, you'd have to have your Wii in the family room, Nintendo DS on the go, but now you pretty much have both in one tiny little device. What I'm probably gonna try to do next is get that Bomberman Switch game, cause me and my sister used to play that all day long on our pink DS lights, so I'm really excited for that. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you enjoy the Switch stuff, leave a like and I'll see you later.